Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are checking out our airliner, and when I say checking out, I mean we're changing it. Uh, essentially what I want to do today is, I kind of want to make sure that these engines uh, are a little bit further apart. So I'm thinking this one needs to be a little bit further to the right, uh, and I feel like that makes sense. We also need to turn around these propellers on the front, uh, to make sure that they turn the opposite way to the ones in the back, uh, just so that that works out properly. So, let's go ahead and, uh, do that first. We might then end up doing some of the landing gear and other stuff. I might even, like, make the wings a little bit longer too by doing this, because this piece needs a flat piece in the middle. So, I don't know, if we can do that, we'll do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and first off grab the wing. We're actually gonna grab the end of the wing, and I think this will work out great. So, we're gonna grab this entire piece like this, and we're gonna grab the entire wing. Yeah, all the way out to there. Very good. We're then gonna grab up to this point right here, because we can, and I'm also gonna- wait, what? Oh, because this is wings. This is made of wing pieces. We're gonna go ahead and cut this, and we're gonna move it to the right. Alright, just, uh, about five, actually, so... Let me figure this out. This is one, two, three, four, and one more. Five. All right, there we go. So that's where we want it to be, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and paste it right there, and that'll be fine. I'm then going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll fix it all together, and it'll work out great. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, cut this one too. So we'll clear the content. We'll go ahead and cut it. There we go. And we'll move it over the same amount. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. All right, there we go. Paste it right there. Very good. We then need to merge all of this together, so we'll do it on both sides. And essentially, all we're doing is attaching this piece to that piece, and that's it. All right, so if we can dig in two on this side, which I think we actually can, we can then put this piece inside of there, which to me seems like a very good thing. All right, if we actually, we'll do it from this side. Probably easier. All right, there we go. Flip that around. Put it right there. Uh, do the same thing there, and do the same thing there. I don't know whether we can fit one here. I don't know whether there's anything here that will get in the way. I don't think there is. All right, cool. Merge all of this together. Merge this with this. Very good. Merge this with this. Very good. And then all we need to do is sort out the rest of it because uh, reasons and stuff. So I'm going to make sure there's no more holes in this wing. And uh, we've got longer wingspan. And I think that looks way better too. Awesome. All right, there we go. So we've got longer wingspan. We've got our engine separated out a little bit as well. And that should mean it looks a lot better, which in fact, actually, I think it does, which is awesome. Uh, I do need to fill in this little section right here because I forgot to do so last time, which, uh, whoops a daisy. I did that by accident, but whatever. We fixed it now and that is awesome. We could do with adding some flaps to this thing as well. Um, and that would be great, but uh, for right now, I think we've got what we need. So, with that being said then, let's go ahead and try and take off with this thing, and uh, we'll see how well it flies now that we've extended the wings. Although actually, we should probably turn all of these propellers around so that they work as well. So let's do that now. Okay, so essentially, all we gotta do is we gotta grab this, we gotta go ahead and cut it, we gotta press U, and that'll put it on the other way around, as you guys can see. And then we gotta do it to every other other one. Every other other one. Go ahead and do this, press U, and paste it right there. We need to do the same thing on this side, so grab this, uh, cut it, uh, press U, paste it in, and then do the same thing with this one. So grab it, cut it, press U, paste it, and... Wait, that one didn't work. Hang on. Oh, wait, no, we don't need to do the same thing on this side, do we? <laughs> we really don't, because, because it's the same on this side. Ah! Words and things. What am I doing? Redo that one. Alright, there we go. So, if we can merge all of these... That would be great. All right, merge this with this, merge this with this, and these should all be the same, which is fine, because they're already done. Uh, they're already connected as well, which is awesome. Uh, these ones should be as well, and we are good to go. All right, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Obviously, we're still on the, the poopy landing gear, but that's all right. We can change that eventually. Uh, let's get inside and see if we can fly this thing. All right, we're inside. Go ahead and press one, do this. All right, we are throttled up, and go. Go, go, go. All right, take it to the, the runway over here. Very good. And pitch up. And we are in the sky. All right, we are flying very, very um, slow. <laughs> We're flying very, very slowly, but it is pretty stable. And then we'll lift up the landing gear like this. Whoop, there we go. And we are good. We're flying our plane. 
That is awesome. Yes. All right, I love it. I actually really do. I think this plane looks looks really nice. But that is not all. That is not all we're going to do today. I was thinking that maybe we could actually paint it. Uh, and if I painted it white, I think it would look quite good. My dog is at the door. All right, so she came in, she had a kiss, and then she's left. All right, cool. So, uh, what do we do now? I, I don't know. Should we have it white? I'm not so sure we should actually have it white. Maybe we should have it, like, gray. So let's go ahead and change it back to this, and then have gray. Uh, that kind of works a little bit, I guess. All right, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little look at some pictures of these airliners. Like, I don't know, DC-7s. Uh, we'll see what kind of color schemes they have. Okay, so after looking at some pictures, uh, it turns out that DC-7s uh, for United have like a, a blue line around the outside. I'm thinking maybe we just take that and we use a red line instead, uh, and that would be pretty cool. In fact, we could have like a red arrow. That would work quite cool. Uh, and the wings are like silver. They're actually like reflective. Uh, and then the main bodies themselves are actually painted. So I'm thinking we have a white main body with a red line around it. We then add, uh, we have, like, silver wings. I think that makes sense. So, let's try and figure out how to do that. Uh, we'll add the red first, and we'll add actual frantic red. There we go. Uh, we'll put it on both sides, very nice, and we'll start to paint it. So, we'll actually have this line go like this. Alright, and we'll have the arrow on this edge. Very nice. We'll have the line go through there, and underneath the windows, all the way to the back. Uh, to, actually... I was going to say to there, but actually, maybe it should just go all the way around. That does make sense. All right, there we go. Cool. Um, there we go. All the way around that way as well. I'm thinking the top side should probably be white, and the bottom side should stay the same color as the wings. So let's go with white on the top piece. Here we go. We've got to paint every single bit of this individually, which is uh, annoying, but uh, we can do it. So let's do that. Obviously, we need to add the windows and doors back in here. We should probably add a door in here. I might actually get rid of this seat. Um, and the seat on the other side, and we'll have a proper door there. That makes sense to me, actually. So we'll probably end up doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and jug the rest of this in, though, and make sure that the top half is white, and the bottom is grey. Okay, cool. You might not really notice that much, either, but that's fine. Alright, there we go. Cool, jug all of these pieces in as well. Make sure that it's all painted, because we want it all done. There we go. Very nice. The back side is going to be white. The wings are going to stay grey, though. All right, we're going to try and make sure that we keep the color scheme all the way around, though. All right, there we go. Paint this piece and this piece, and then this bit on the bottom. Very good. Uh, and this bit as well. Okay, awesome. Paint that and that, and this, and... Oh, no, maybe not that. <laughs> maybe not that. We'll just paint this like this. There we go. And that right there. Okay, awesome. So that's all done. Uh, and that should look pretty good when we spawn it in. I actually really like this design. Maybe the, the the arrow should actually continue all the way around. And that'll be like a, a pointer. That actually works, doesn't it? That does actually work. I like it. Alright, spawn it in. We'll see what it looks like like that. I like it. I do. I'm not so sure about how, how fat that arrow is, but the rest of it is awesome. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so, uh, with that being said then, if we did change this to like a slightly different grey... Like, let's say we made the grey darker. Does that look worse or better? I have no idea. I'm not very good with these colour schemes ever. But, um, what if we have, like, a green? Now, that looks weird, doesn't it? Does that look strange? Alright, so maybe we don't actually have this be all this colour. Maybe we have it like this instead. Uh, which could look better or it could look worse. I, I really don't know. I think that looks kind of interesting. In fact, if we bring it just to the door, then this barriers it off and then it can continue red backwards from there. Alright, that makes sense. But we can't have this green on the underside. We we have to make it some sort of grey, some sort of... I don't know. I don't know what kind of colour I want it to be, but I don't want it to be like... I don't want it to be like a normal colour. I don't think I do, anyway. If I just make it white, I mean, that does look okay. But what if we make it a little bit less than white? And it sort of just looks like grey, but not really? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um... Also, I'm not sure if we should have this bit be white or not. This bit isn't even white, actually. It's not. It's the same color as the underside. All right, spawn it in again. I like that. I think I prefer that. All right. Yeah, cool. All right, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and go to this side. And we'll actually delete a full wall here. Uh, we're going to delete this seat. And we're going to delete this seat and these as well. 
Uh, and this is going to be our way out. So we're actually going to put these in. We're going to then put this in. Although, actually, it should probably follow the same... Right, we're going to go with the interior color scheme on this. We're going to do this. All right, like this. And we're going to do this. All right, then we'll paint it the way that it should be painted. Very good. We'll do that bit as well. Very nice. And this is going to be like the emergency exit door. And I think the way we're going to do it is this is going to be the way out onto the wing. And it'll open this way. All right, that makes sense, I think. All right, there we go. Cool. Take the color of the inside and paint this. Woo! There we go, and that's all good. All right, so this is going to be emergency exit. Not entirely sure how I want to do this. I'm thinking we delete these. Actually, we should delete this and this. We should get ourselves a door, uh, a door frame, like these ones. And we should try and put these on so that we can push it out if needs be. So that would go in there like that. I wish that I could put it there, but I can't. So these doors are actually going to be tiny. Is that okay for an emergency exit? I don't think it is. I really don't think that's right. But I mean, I guess it could be. We could just push this out and it'll fly away. I'm not sure. Emergency exit. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it the way it is. So let's go ahead and get the doors then. Frame edge. This is going to go in here like this. Same with these ones and same with this one. There we go. And then same with this one as well. There we go. Fantastic. And then obviously, we need to put this on the interior. Interior. There we go. One there. One there. One there. And one here also. Very good. Does that count as the same piece? I think it does. I think this is all counting as the same piece and not a separate door. So realistically, we need that to be separate. How do I do that? How do I do that? Because I do want to just be able to push it and it falls out, essentially. Um, so in order to do that, then, we need to connect it, but not really. So, like, we'll put a hinge right here. Okay, this then counts as a separate piece, so we'll put that in. And then we'll build it around that. Okay, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and put the edge in. Like so, very good. Uh, we'll put it in here as well, like so. Same on this side, and same on the bottom. There we go. And then we'll put the edges in, like these ones. Okie dokie. Like this. Uh, like this. And then on these sides, we need it to just continue around. And on this side, we need it to go there. Okay, very good. So now, we just need a button in order to, like, fire this off. I don't, because otherwise it won't seal, will it? It won't seal anyway. That won't, that won't seal to that. It just doesn't work that way. Uh-oh. Uh, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, door. Lock. Frame controller. See, this is what we need. But we can't have it be in the frame, because we can't do, hmm. Unless we just, uh, I don't know. Unless we did do it like this. It doesn't have to go all the way around. Maybe. I don't know. And if I did like this piece right here. Like that. And then I did just to fill that in. Would that work? I have no idea. I don't know if that would seal. Alright, do this. Make sure that this is like on. Alright. And then connect it to the power. I don't know if this will work. I don't think it will. Alright, spawn it in. See what it looks like. Because it'll have bounced out if it if it wasn't going to work. It has. It's bounced out. Because then it would push it. That's what I want, essentially. I want to be able to just push it out. But we can't do that, because this one. Ah, that's really annoying. Okay, never mind then. So, we'll just fill this back in like this. We'll put this piece right here, and we'll build this in. Alright, very nice. So, instead of doing the idea of the door that I just had then, let's go ahead and grab this door. Alright, this one right here. We'll move it to the right three. Move it down all the way to the bottom of the door, which is there. And this will be our door. So if we cut it and we paste it, very good. Take it to the other side and do the same thing. We need to cut it and paste it, very good. And if we move it backwards, we should have a door here, obviously. Um, close to the back of this chair rather than the front of this one. There we go, paste it in right there. And then we should probably have a door at the back. So let's just put one in here. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, cool. So these are our doors. Uh, we are going to mark the ones at the front and the back off. There we go, like this. 
all the way like that. Very good. We're going to do the ones at the front as well, because we probably should. There we go. And that is fine, I think. There we go. Build that in there. Go ahead and put this in up to there and paint it this color. Woo. There we go. So we got doors. Uh, we've actually got three doors. I don't think it needs three. I don't actually think it needs this one in the middle. Now that we've put the two in, we're so close together that it doesn't need this one. It really doesn't. So we're going to get rid of this door. <laughs> we're, I mean, there's lots of debate and stuff going on, but we, we are going to get rid of this. All right. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do instead is we're just going to paint this the same as the outside. We're going to fill all this in. After all of that, we're not even going to have a door here. There we go. We're going to paint this across like this. And maybe we could have a toilet or something in here instead. That would be kind of interesting. Because then we could do this. And we could do this. And we could actually put a door on the inside. And that would work. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea, actually. We'll have a toilet halfway down the plane. And then we don't need one at the front or the back. That makes sense. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and paint the floor. In fact, painted this color. There we go. Uh, and we'll put toilets in on both sides right there and there. Okay, that makes sense. Get rid of this. Um, what is this? That is nothing. Interesting. All right, go ahead and put this in here like this. Fill in the little top bit. And there we go. We've got toilets on both sides. That makes sense, actually, doesn't it? That does make sense. All right, cool. Awesome. So we got the door at the back. We got the door at the front. Um, I'm going to merge them in for now. And then we'll we'll make door we'll make them useful in a, in a little bit. In fact, actually, no, that's a bad idea. What am I doing? Um, we're gonna delete these. Okay, delete this bit. We're gonna get ourselves a pivot, and it's just gonna pivot outwards. We're not gonna make like a extravagant thing. We're just gonna make it work. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Merge this with this. All right, cool. Do the same thing with this one. Merge that with that. The back ones are gonna open backwards instead. So, they're going to open like this. Okay, merge this with this. Merge this with... There isn't even a door there. <laughs> there isn't even a door there. Go to the other side and paste a door. Alright, there we go. Paste a door in right there. Very good. Uh, and then we can merge this with this. Okay, so then we need, obviously, some switch boxes and stuff like that. We need to put some buttons in. So, let's do that now. Button. Uh, Double-sided, probably. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to put those in. Uh, right there. Okay, good. So that's going to go there like that. The back ones are going to go in here as well. We need some switch boxes. We need at least four. So we'll, we'll actually put them underneath the doors. Because we've got the room for them, so we might as well. Alright, there we go. Put them underneath the doors. Make sure that this is connected to this and also to the power. We'll do the same thing with these ones. Okay, same with the back ones. They need to be connected to that and that. And also the power. There we go. Very good. And then we need to make sure they're all connected to a switch box. So this goes to there. This goes to there. Uh, same with these ones. That goes to there. That goes to there. Same with these ones at the back. This goes to here. And this goes to here. And then same with these ones. There we go. So then we just need a number, which is going to be 1. Which is going to go right here in the middle. And that's going to connect to the on value of all of them. There we go. There we go. On and on. Okay, and then we need to change this to be number one. There we go, and that is it. That's all we need. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and spawn it in. The doors should stay in the plane, which indeed they have. And then if we push the button, the door should open, and it's open enough for us to get inside. And that's pretty much it. We could make it so that it folds again, but I don't see much point in that as long as we can get in the way it is. So... Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Anyway, let's get this thing into the sky. We'll take a picture for a thumbnail, and that'll be the end of the video. As long as it takes off still. Also, in case you want to know what it looks like on the inside, we've obviously got all these seats right here. Uh, we've got this place for the toilet in the sides. There we go. Uh, we got these seating areas. Oh, that would look cool. Oh, we can't actually see out the windows. <laughs> that's really annoying, but that's just the way the Stormworks person is. Uh, we're going to fill all this in, and we're probably just going to block this off, actually. Uh, and this is going to be like a crew area. Then we can go outside. My computer just froze. Uh, we can go outside like this if we need to. Or we can just close it up and that'll be fine. Anyway, let's get it into the sky. Uh, we need to work on the cockpit. We need some dials in here and stuff. Uh, and we'll work that out in the future. But for now, this is awesome. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Get us out and get us flying, please. Here we go. All right, into the sky we go. 
Awesome. I love how slow it is. Like, I don't want this thing to be a fast plane. I want this thing to be slow and stable. There we go. All right, very good. Go ahead and do this. Awesome. And we are in the sky. I do feel like the back end needs sorting a little bit more. I feel like it needs to be a little bit more rounded off, I guess. I want it to be longer. But I'm not entirely sure how to do that, so we'll work it out in the future. But anyway, for right now, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of this plane, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the next one. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.